All right, so we got a table done here, but we need to bring in some data to show it here, to display it from our database, from uh, our table inside our database, right? So let's go ahead to brackets here, and where we want to put, what we got to do is make a, a query, of course, to bring that data there, and we're going to be doing the query right here, as a matter of fact. All right, so we need to bring a couple more things actually than this. I believe we have other fields. Let's check it out right here. All right, so this is the data we got to bring in. Let's go ahead and start making that query first, and then we worry about what we got to bring in. All right, so first thing that I'm going to do is take this TR out of here. We are going to be doing this in the query, but let's open a PHP tag. All right and let's just bring it all the way down here that's fine make it a little bigger so you can see what I'm doing alright so let's go ahead and do a query and as a matter of fact we already have one let's go ahead and pick one from what we some of the files that we have been working with and let's do one from categories let's take out actually functions that's where we put everything there so let's take out this here, the query categories, take this out, let's go back to post, let's paste it right here, that looks good. So we're going to select all from where. Let's make sure that we close that loop before we forget, okay? So select all from post, right? That's the name of our table inside the database, right there. All right. So we select everything and let's change the name of this, select post, and let's also change it right here in the loop. Check, take that, fix it. We're going to bring some values here and they're going to be called something different. Post ID, that's going to be the post ID. I'm going to try to guess some of them, but when I'm not sure, I'm just going to look at it, all right? And the next is the post author. Think right here. Yep. Make sure you change your. I'm gonna do some copy and pasting since this could take a long time. Well, not that long, but it does take a little bit of time to type all this. If you want to pause the video and try to do it yourself, you can. Post title, and I'm just gonna do some copy and pasting now. Actually, we said this was gonna be the post alter. Sorry about that. Alter. All right, so let's just do some copy and pasting real quick. We got two values there, so we need just a couple more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. And let's bring this here. That's fine. All right, so post author, the next one is title. And I'm just going to change this side first and then I'm gonna go to the other one category ID is a column inside the database the table it's inside the database too but let's just call it the table because our database is gonna get huge right and then the image post image here we are bringing the tags here we are bringing the post comment count I believe and uh, post date all right <clears throat> excuse me so let's go ahead and copy some of this I like to copy the whole thing right there post title post category actually boom right there post status I don't have to name it the same, but I do it anyway. Because all we're doing is holding that value, right? And I got a little extra code right there, so. All right. Post date. All right, perfect. I think we're good. Let's echo something out. Let's check it out. Let's see what we get. All right, let's see if it, this works. And we have our thing right here. Let's go back and refresh. 
and we are seeing the dates right there for our two posts that we got in our database. All right. So the next thing is to because we are inside the T body there, we need to echo this all this in a row and each of those rows are going to have right now we got two posts so that's going to be two rows right so we're going to echo a row every time we have all these fields so that way because all this is including one post so this would be all of this would be one row all of this would be one row two rows and we want our loop to keep reproducing that row every time it has all this data inside all right so we're going to enclose all that data inside a row every time it loops around it's going to loop everything at the same time including the rows so every time it goes around it, it creates one row with all this information in there right keep that clear and let's echo some TDs let's close it all right and let's just do a couple copy and paste it there one two three four five six seven two more I think it's the the magic number let's move this a little bit and let's get it done with this we also forgot to do this but I'm gonna leave you to it so you can do that in your own all right put the brackets around there the curly brackets all right so don't forget that that's really good to distinguish your code from the rest of the um, HTML inside there post title post category ID post status post image We gotta do something with the image later on, but let's get all this data here first. Because remember, what we are actually displaying right now is for the image is a reference. We need to display the IMG here. So we got the post comment, and let's echo the post date also. All right. So I think we're done with this. Right. Oops. Echo. Unexpected echo in line 64. All right. What is it doing? Let's check it out. We, oh, we forgot to close all this with a semicolon. I thought that was part of the uh, copy and pasting, right? There we go. Let's do that. Perfect. We get some data from our table. All right, let's try to fix that image here and try to get it to display. Right now, that image is being displayed from all the way up here. Includes actually images. It's in the root of the file. All right, so we get, we need to go twice. Right, we are in admin post, so we need to go back to the root and then the images so let's do that right here let's um, create an IMG tag here IMG SRC that's the source and it's gonna be images and the name of that image well this is gonna be the the reference for that image right here so it's going to be post name and we need to close that image right there I think that would do the trick you could put an alt right here if you want just to say something image alright so right now we do it like this we just get a little image right here right all right let's try to get it to work I think it's too oh that's too big right we need to make it it is working but it's breaking everything there let's see if we can use a, a class here to help this out let's see if this class will help it 
is a class called class um, IMG responsive. I don't know if it's going to help this. Um, IMG responsive. Um, it might not help. Let's just use it and see if it works. First, let me just make sure that. Let's take this out of here. This is breaking all my code right here. Um, almost making it this small. I want you to see it, so that's why I'm putting this all the way down. All right, so so the IMG right here. Let me see if it fixes anything. It did fit something. It's making it smaller, but. We need to actually make it a lot smaller than that. We don't want to display all this there, right? That's a lot of code. It's just making it responsive. So when we, right now, it's just making it. Like you see that? Right now, it can take all that space, but I don't want it to take all that space. So I'm just gonna set it to a, a width, and um, let's just take it off and just do a width on the image of. 100 I think that width will fit it let's see if that I think that's a lot better than having nothing there right so we're gonna be fixing this later on too we have another image here that we will be updating when we finish this crud but anyway we were able to get some data from the database here from our table inside our database and we got this image actually playing nice with us now all right so anyway thank you so much and I'll see you in the next lecture to continue doing the post page. Take care.